Hey, I'm James from J Technology, and we are back here at CES 2018 at the Las Vegas Convention Center. And we are back here at LG, and we're going to go over the LG Ultrafine display, um, which I didn't see last year. So this this is new because I see that it uh, is a CES Innovation Award. Right. Uh, can you talk a lot more about this, Greg? Oh, absolutely. The 32UK950 is, like I said, a CES Sign Innovation winner, and the reason why is this thing is amazing. I mean, we talk a lot about what's happening with you know, television, you yeah. know, with 4K HDR and all that. Now we've kind of brought that into a monitor, which makes it a really good solution for somebody who's doing really serious, you know, video work, editing, graphic work, and whatnot. Let me tell you a little bit how that kind of applies. Number one, we've pulled that nanocell technology, which gives us richer reds and greens from our Super UHD lineup, and have integrated it into the monitor. It also helps with the reflectivity, so even in this bright environment, you can see that the image is very bright, very detailed, not being affected by all the lights we have. It supports the wide color gamut of DCI-P3, which is relative to what they're using in Hollywood for HDR movies. Nice. Okay. So if you maybe want to start doing your own enterprise, you know, video editing, doing your own HDR at home, this could support that. Uh, but HDR isn't just about, you know, accepting a better quality signal, it's being able to capitalize on it. So this monitor is also brighter. Uh, so it uses the HDR 600 specification, which gives you peak brightness, you know, up closer to, uh, you know, over 500 nits of brightness. Uh, so that, and then of course the 4K Ultra HD resolution, and because we use IPS, you'll notice that even if you move off axis, the color doesn't shift, you don't lose saturation. So this is well suited to that application. And what we've added this year is the Thunderbolt 3 connector, which okay. in this configuration we're using one of our grams, and it's driving two of those oh, monitors wow. at full 4K using one cable and one link cable. Okay. And that's it. So you can only go up to two um, daisy chaining. In, in the current uh, okay. situation, yes, that's the, the max that we have. Uh, Thunderbolt, uh, we also have the ability to support up to a 5K monitor as well, which is the one that we're showing off behind me. Okay. But, uh, so LG is big in monitors, and we're showing that you know not only do we have solutions for UHD, you know somebody who's really serious about you know their craft, whether it's video editing, photo editing, you know, graphic design, uh, architectural work, but we also have all sorts of other monitors in the booth, from gaming to uh, wide, you know. Of our ultra wide uh, monitors, and then we have our standard PC monitors. And one thing nice that we do pretty much consistently is we offer gaming features in all of them. So things that will enhance the gaming experience, and we typically support free sync from AMD to make sure that you have a very smooth, uh, you know, gaming experience on screen with no tearing and no stuttering as well. Okay. So even though we say it's ultra HD, you can also use it for gaming as well. And uh, this is a 30. 32 inch. Uh, will there be uh, any smaller sizes available? And yeah, we have sizes going all the way from 32 down to about 19 inches in uh, our regular 16 by 9 lineup. Okay. And then we have all the way up to 38 inches in our uh, ultra wide. But they're not going to they're not going to have the same features. They will be different. So depending okay. on your application, look for the feature set for the applications you use most. Okay. And will LG will this come out uh, this year? And can we talk price? Absolutely. And we never talk price at the CE show because but figure a natural progression from last year's products to 2018. Sounds good. Well, thank you, Greg. Hey, is this the last thing we're doing here? Um, I don't know. I thought we were going to dance. I think we're going to dance. Okay. So.